Welcome to the course on computer programming. In this session, we will see how to write a basic C++ program and a simple CPP program using Codeblocks ID on Windows. So, let us begin by writing a basic C++ program to add two numbers. We will click on start, all programs, search Codeblocks over here, click Codeblocks, Codeblocks simple CPP. Codeblocks ID will appear here which has just appeared. Now, we will create a project, we will click on file, new, project. Select simple CPP project in this window and click on go. You can check this button, skip this page next time, so that it does not appear next time and click next. Graphics only is selected by default, you can ignore this and click next. Over here, we need to enter our project title. For example, we have to create a project for add two numbers. So, we will write add two numbers as our project title. We will create it on desktop. We will make a new folder called C++ underscore programs on desktop. We will keep it in this folder. As you can see, the path is desktop C++ programs. If you notice the project file name, which was blank earlier, has appeared here as add to numbers dot cbp. cbp is code blocks project. Click next. GNU GCC compiler is selected. Click on finish. We have now created a project. Now, we need to add a file. For this, we will click on file, new, file. Click C, C++ source and click on go. Click this check button and click next. C++ is selected by default, so let us click on next. We will enter the file name, say add two numbers dot cpp, which is the C++ extension. We need to keep it in our project directory. C++ underscore programs add two numbers is our project directory. We will save it over here in this folder. Click on debug and release. This is important for debugging our project and click finish. Now, double click on add two numbers, double click on sources and double click on add two numbers dot cpp. This is the left pane, which is the workspace window. Over here, we need to write our program. We will start writing by hash include IO stream using namespace std int min return 0. This is our template program. We will write int num1, num2. We will ask the users to enter two numbers, see out, enter two integer numbers. Endel is nothing but new line character. We will accept two numbers from the user using the cn statement num1 and num2 semicolon. We will now print the addition of two numbers is and we will compute the addition over here itself num1 plus num2 semicolon sorry endl semicolon. This completes our add two numbers program. Now, we can either build using the build and run option available here or you can also click on build, build and run. What we expect is a terminal which has just appeared. It asks us to enter two integer numbers which was printed using the cout statement. We will enter two numbers say 45 and 34 we will press enter. 
addition of two numbers is which was displayed here has appeared over here in the terminal and num1 plus num2 which is equal to 79 has appeared over here. This is how we write a basic C++ program using code blocks ID. Press enter to exit the terminal. Let us now see how to write simple CPP programs. So, we will create another project file new project simple CPP project and click on go. Graphics only which is selected by default click next project title say we want to draw three polygons. So, we can say draw polygons as a project title it will be displayed over here in this directory the code blocks project dot cpp is created over here and we will click on next gnu gcc compiler is selected click finish as you can see there is no much difference in creating simple cpp and basic programs now we will add the file we will select draw polygons project we will click on file new file select C++ source and click on go C++ is selected here so we will click next we will now write draw polygon dot cpp we will browse in which directory it has to be created we will click save we will click on debug and release which is most important we will click finish as you can see the draw polygon dot cpp has appeared over here we already have a program written we will just copy paste this in code blocks id we will save it control s and we will build and run it as you can see the three polygons have been drawn over here. This is one way of writing a program. Another way is to create a source code file and not the project. Please note that simple CPP code should not be created using this way. For simple CPP you need to create a project itself which we have just done. So, let us now close both the projects as it will interfere with our new program. We will close the add two numbers project right click close project yes we will save the changes right click close project and we will save the changes now we will write a simple program hello world file new c++ source go select c++ and click next file name with the full path we will browse to the directory first we will go to the directory called C++ programs which is present on our desktop. We will give the title hello world dot cpp and we will click save. Please note there is no debug or release available here for a file and we will click finish. Hello world dot cpp has just opened. Now we can write a simple program hash include io stream using namespace std int min see out hello world and and return 0 we will save it and we will build and run it as you can see hello world has been displayed on the terminal press enter to continue now let us examine the folder in which we have created both our projects if you recollect we had created our project on desktop c++ programs directory so let us go into the directory we will minimize code blocks this is our desktop c++ programs double click on it. 
if you see we had created two projects add two numbers and draw polygons hello world.cpp was a file which was created as you can see hello world.exe and hello world.o is already present here because we built and run a program we will learn about .exe and .o when we examine the add two numbers folder let's go into this folder add two numbers.cbp this is the code blocks project file add two numbers.cpp is our source code that is our main file where we actually added two numbers and printed it this is a layout file the layout file contains the settings of the workspace of our project which files were opened and where they were positioned etc the two folders bin and object where bin contains the executable of our project which is a .exe file whereas the object contains the object file object file is nothing but the file that contains translatable machine code in this session we have seen how to write simple cpp programs basic programs and have examined what files does code blocks project creates thank you